Welcome back to Function Pilates channel. In this video, I will guide you through a beginner reformer workout. Let's start with footwork. I have two reds, one green, and one yellow spring on. Let's begin lying on your back with heels on, hip distance apart in a parallel position. Begin to push out through your heels, opening up through the front of the hips, reaching out through the top of your head. Try to minimize movement with your ankles and keep them solid and pressing right into the foot bar. Arms are reaching down beside you nice and long. Fingertips are energized. Exhale takes you out, inhale brings you back in. Let's move down to the toes, staying in that parallel position. Heels are elevated, begin to push on out. Focus on equal weight distribution throughout all of your toes and challenging your heels to stay in an upright position. Exhale out, inhale, pulls you back in. We're working on strengthening your ankles, your knees, and your hips. Beautiful job, guys. Pressing out, returning back in. Heels together, toes apart. Exhale, tweeze those inner thighs together. As you inhale, allow for the knees to go as wide as your shoulders. Remember, every time that we're pressing out, you wanna think of cinching the waist together, cinching the ribs, scooping the belly down and in. You're working through those inner thighs and hugging those heels together. Good. Let's bring those heels up to the top of the bar. Go wide, a slight turned out position here, and then pushing through those heels nice and long. Again, think of this energy reaching out from the top of your head and out through the bottom of the feet. Pushing out to two straight legs as if you are pushing your knees down towards the floor. Soften through your neck and your shoulders and relax with your jaw. Exhale out, inhale, pull you back in. Beautiful. Let's take the same wide position to your toes. Heels are lifted. Exhale, press out. Inhale, fight the resistance as you return the carriage in. Now, if these springs seem too heavy for you, go ahead and remove a yellow spring. Equal weight distribution into the feet. Pressing out and returning. Nice deep breaths. You guys are doing great. You should feel that heat in your legs. We'll transfer to the center of the foot bar into those calf raises. So lower the heels down, lift the heels up. Lower them down, lift the heels up. All at the same time, the legs are staying straight. You're working through each of your toes and we're strengthening the ankles and stretching through the calves here. Lifting and lowering. Just 10 here, and let's pull the heels together. Pilates V, continuing to lower and lift into those calf raises. 10 more. Again, going at your own comfortable pace. And then once you hit your 10th one, you're gonna come into parallel again, and we're gonna walk it into prancing dropping one heel and coming to two straight legs in the center, dropping the opposite heel and returning to two straight legs in the center. Again, a very comfortable pace here. Not rushing through it. Going slower if you prefer. And return that carriage back in when you're ready. All right, let's go ahead and sit on up. We're gonna take it into single leg footwork. So I'd like two red springs and one blue. Once you've made those adjustments, go ahead and lie yourself right back down. We're gonna line up your heels back on the foot bar, hip distance apart. Let's go ahead and float into tabletop that left side. Point through the left toes, keep the right foot flexed, pushing out for 10, 
presses on that right side, trying to keep the left knee directly over the hip. Exhale to push out, inhale to pull back in. Beautiful job, guys. Again, opening up through the front of the hip, controlling the resistance on the return. Let's switch it to the opposite side. So left heel is on, right leg in tabletop. Pressing out, returning back in. Push out and return. Again, single leg strengthening here. You wanna, again, try to maintain equal balance on both of your hips. So you don't wanna feel like you are pushing into one side of the mat more than the other. Try to avoid coming in to crash into the stopper. Again, it's all about control. Your abdominal muscles are helping with the speed. Good. And let's return right back in again, switching right toes are on, left leg is gonna go ahead and extend over the foot bar. On your push out, pull the left knee in towards the chest to a tabletop position. You're challenging your right heel to stay lifted and elevated. So avoid letting it drop too far under the foot bar. When you pull your left knee in towards your chest, let that knee just stop directly over the hip. Continue to engage through your abs and relax through your neck and shoulders. You wanna focus on those arms staying nice and long. Beautiful. Press and return. And switching to the opposite side, left toes are on, right leg is extended. Exhale, inhale to reach. Exhale, inhale to reach. Keep checking in with your body here to take inventory. Soften through your facial muscles and relax again with your jaw. Our goal is to maintain neutral pelvis and a neutral spine. So all of the natural curves of your spine here. Breathe. Let's go ahead and come back up. We're gonna take it into some abs and upper body and we're switching down to a red and a yellow spring. Once you're done, go ahead and lie yourself back down. Make sure you're not super close to the shoulder blocks and then pick up those handles and reach for the sky. One leg at a time is gonna to come to tabletop, hug those knees together as a unit and start to press down through those arms. So the fingertips are super energized. The arms are energized. Think of your arms as long levers here as those fingertips reach away from your body. You're still maintaining a neutral spine position so you shouldn't feel like your back is overly arching. So if you do feel like you're overly arching, push your low back into the mat here, and that should help to engage the core. So you should feel your abs and your low back here working together as a unit. Exhale to pull down, inhale to bring it back up. Beautiful. Flip the palms, look at the hips, open out into your T-press, and drag those arms, ret returning them back to the hips here. You wanna focus on your arms being very heavy. So locate the muscle groups below the armpit to activate through the lats here. Again, my fingers are spread open, they're reaching long. Try not to grip the handle, so really avoid gripping through the handle. Exhale, pull right back in. Gonna go up to the sky, we're adding circles. So we're gonna go ahead and press down first, open to a T, return to the sky. So we're just combining this two movements that we already started with to make a nice mechanical circle here. We're conditioning through the shoulders. Beautiful, exhale, pressing down, imprinting your spine all the way around. Our magic number is 10. If it doesn't, if it feels like it's too much for you, you can always reduce that number anywhere from five to 10. Good, and circle it around, reaching those fingertips up. Let's reverse, pull it in, return up. 
arms out to a T, into the hips, float the arms up. So notice here that we have complete stabilization through the lower body, through those hips. The legs are not moving. Beautiful job here, guys. Again, taking this moment to be self-aware what your body is feeling, taking necessary inventory, lifting your heels up, not letting them drag underneath. We're gonna go right into your tricep presses. So arms are down long beside you, bend at the elbow, straighten out the arms. We're letting the elbows hover off the mat here. So think of working through the entire backside of your arm. You should feel the triceps here fire up along with your biceps too. Very nice. Again, 10 of those. Find your magic number. Keeping your palm open. Good, once you're done, go ahead and set those feet down, arms out to a T. You can go ahead and go into a low back stretch as you move your knees from side to side. You can look to the opposite direction for a deeper rotation through the back. Again, focus on your breath. Close your eyes if that feels good for you. And then we're gonna go ahead and add flexion here. So legs back to tabletop, arms to the sky. We're gonna curl the head and chest up and then lower everything down together. So super slow and super slow all the way back to the return. Eyesight is down at the belly button, so as you're lifting up, make sure that your eyesight is down to your belly button, your chin is close to your chest to avoid any extra neck tension. We wanna avoid the neck being in limbo land. So as long as we have good flexion through the spine, it should avoid any discomfort through your neck. Exhale curls you up, inhale brings you back down. Good. Once you're ready, go ahead and drop the feet, place those handles back to the pegs, and we're going to go ahead and sit ourselves back up. So we're going to take it into our hip work where we're going to put our feet into the straps. I would like one red spring and one blue spring for our hip work series. If you had handles on, go ahead and take this opportunity to switch them into the loops. And then once you've done that, we can go ahead and lie ourselves back down. Headrest can be all the way flat or it can be in a halfway up position. Place your feet into the loops when you're ready. One foot at a time. And then reach those legs up to the sky here. Again, reorganize yourself so that you feel centered and your shoulders are not hugging the shoulder blocks. You're gonna start with your tailbone heavy, pressing into the loops to lower the legs down. Exhale, press straight down. Inhale, return back up. Exhale to press straight down. Inhale, return back up. So the legs again are a unit. We're energized through our toes. Our pelvis is anchored into the, into the mat and we're maintaining all the natural curves of our spine here. So pay attention as your legs are lowering, your abs are being drawn down and in. Beautiful. And just enjoying the stretch here through the back of those legs. Find 45 degree angles, heels together, toes apart, bend your knees in for frog and exhale to straighten the legs out. So once again, you're tweezing through those inner thighs and try to have your knees stop over your hips to enhance the inner thigh strengthening. So everything we're doing with your feet in the loops is all about hip strengthening. I've placed my hands on top of my lower abdomen, mainly to help identify those muscle groups assisting me through the process here. So see if you can feel your abs engaged as you're working through the lower extremities. We're adding circles. So sweep those legs around, bring the feet back together. Now, if you have the ability to let the legs 
go past 90 degrees, that's okay, as long as you're not lifting your tailbone off the mat. But if you already feel like the tailbone is lifting off the mat, then I would say you've gone too far and you don't have to, even though it does feel good, we don't have to go that far today. Perfect. Finding your magic number here at the top. And then once you're ready, we can go ahead and reverse the direction here. So exhaling, pressing down, inhale to circle around. And your circles all is gonna be determined again by the ability to maintain a neutral pelvis here. So if you're going out wide, but you feel your hips are moving frequently, I would recommend going into a smaller circle. You have more control over the smaller circle and you're staying within your frame. work here guys again just taking this moment to really absorb what your body is feeling taking it into our next variation right into opening so heels are together toes apart imagine your heels are sliding across this invisible table your legs are like magnets as the heels are drawn together you're creating again this heaviness between your inner thighs as you drag the heels together Inhale to open, exhale to pull. Inhale, we open, exhale to pull. And then bring it in for your Buddha stretch, your butterfly stretch, soles your feet together, knees are apart. You can dip your feet into the well if that feels good for you. And just taking this opportunity to breathe. Once you're ready, go ahead and take one foot out at a time. Find your foot bar right away, hanging those up, and then we can carefully sit ourselves back up. We're gonna change out the spring, so let's just take it to one red spring into your standing lunge stretch. So finding your right foot on the floor, line your big toe up with the metal bolt on the outside of the wooden frame. You're pushing down into a deep lunge, Tuck your tailbone under to push your pelvis forward and you should feel this stretch in front of the left hip. So take the necessary time that feels good for you and then when you're ready, we'll go into your hamstring stretch. So you'll pull in with the carriage, straighten out the right leg, pushing back into your version of the splits. Remember, let's drop those shoulders down, let's keep the chest lifted in a nice flat spine. Repeat that when you're ready. So back into your lunge, bend deep into the right knee, pushing back with your left leg. Breathe as you sink a little deeper, and then finish it with your hamstring stretch. Straighten the right leg and press on out. Keeping your neck in line with the rest of your body. Very good. All right, so let's carefully take you around, walk yourself around the machine and left foot's on the floor, right foot is supported by the shoulder block, palms on the foot bar. Push out into your deep lunge. Again, left knee is directly over the left ankle and you're pushing long through the right leg. Tailbone's tucked under, chest is lifted, hips are forward. When you're ready, come into your hamstring stretch. Straighten your left leg, push yourself back, maintaining a nice neutral position through the spine. Breathe. One more time into the lunge. And then one more time, you guys can take it into your hamstring stretch and pressing out. All right, let's stay on the same spring tension. Let's grab a hold of your box and we're gonna take it into a long position, long box position. So 
place the blocks all the way up against the shoulder blocks here, taking your headrest down flat if it isn't already. Have a seat on your box facing the back side of the reformer. And even if you have the loops in, we'll just keep you there. Placing your hands into the loops, sitting in a very tall position here, and you're gonna exhale to push those arms back behind your body. So reaching behind your body, trying to avoid momentum. So we don't wanna swing the arms. Again, we wanna identify the muscles there right below the armpit, right in behind the back of the arms and into the center of the back. Exhales taking those arms back with an inhale to guide the arms forward. Your upper body is gonna stay put, so try to avoid swaying back or forth. Second variation, turn the palms so they're looking at your hips and pull straight back. This should isolate a deeper feeling into your triceps. So right in the back of your arms is exactly where you should feel this now. Encourage your chest to lift up and make sure that you're sitting up super tall. We wanna avoid rounding the spine here. Very nice. We'll take it to the third position. So the palms are now looking forward and thumbs are on the outside of the loops. Widen the chest here to expand the collarbone. And then same idea, press those arms behind your hips in order to feel the back of the arms working and the muscles in the center of the back. Exhale takes you there, inhale forward. Nice job here, guys. Flip those palms up into a bicep curl. Exhale, bend the elbows, pull those palms in towards your face. Reach those arms away. So visualize that your elbows are resting on top of a table and you're flexing at the elbow joint. You're pulling your palms in towards you to create that bicep curl. But maintain the tension if your straps feel long we won't necessarily extend the leg, the arms out all the way. Exhale, pulls in, inhale, return. And then taking those arms all the way through the loops here. You're going to turn the palms to look at your face and you're gonna open wide through the elbows, allowing for the back of the shoulder to initiate the movement. So your elbows are widening. It's not necessarily your arms that are doing the movement. It's the initiation that's coming from the back of your shoulder. So think about that as the arms begin to expand from one another. Exhale opens up, inhale returns back in. Exhale to open up and inhale to return. Very nice. All right, let's go ahead and eliminate those loops, hang those up carefully. We're gonna flip around to face the opposite side of the reformer. So you can maintain long box and then you can just straddle the box here. I'm gonna drop myself down to a blue spring. So if you want a little bit lighter weight, I would suggest dropping down to a blue spring. If you're happy with the medium weight on the red, then you can stay there. Elbows are in beside the body, palms are up. Let's deliver the tray serve the brownies. Encouraging your chest to stay lifted as you straighten those arms out. Exhale, reach, inhale, return. Exhale to reach, inhale to return. Every time you reach those arms out in front of you, visualize a string pulling you up a little bit taller towards the ceiling. You should feel the front of your shoulders here working. Exhale, reach it out. Good, hold there. Turn the palms to look at one another for hug a tree. So soft elbows here, open wide. Exhale, return those fingertips together. As those arms are pulling in towards one another, visualize your waist cinching here. Your abs are deflating. You're growing taller. Your feet are rooted into the mat. So lots to think about here, so take the time Take the inventory of your body. Exhale, pull it in. Good. Going ahead, lift those arms up. 
taking those hands behind your head. We're gonna go ahead and reach up to the ceiling. So let's connect your index fingers together, your thumbs are together to make a small diamond. You're bending your elbows and you're straightening your arms. Bending your elbows and straightening your arms. And again, five to 10 good ones here. These are challenging. You wanna keep your elbows lifted in a high position and narrow against the frame of your ears. Good, slowly lower back down, hanging everything up again. And then carefully exiting off your box. Okay, let's go ahead and take it to one red spring only. We're lying on our stomach for back extension. So begin to set your palms up on the foot bar nice and wide and separate those legs here for some good distance apart. On your inhale, lift your chest up and on your exhale, lower your chest down. You're pushing out to two straight arms, lift the chest, drop the shoulders. Good, exhale, drop the chest, bend your elbows. Think of pushing out with your back extensors, not necessarily your arms. So what does that mean? Try to keep those shoulders down and away from your ears. We're creating space between the shoulders and the ear and allowing for the whole back side of the body here to be working. Beautiful work there, guys. And it should feel relatively good as we stretch out through the low back drawing some heat into the back of those legs. Almost done. If you can't come up as high, do what feels right for your body. And then let's carefully return and come on off the box. So let's take the box off. You can set it back down onto the floor and then we'll keep you on a red spring and we're gonna go right into a mermaid stretch. So zigzag those legs if that feels okay. You can crisscross applesauce the legs or you can keep your feet planted and rooted into the floor. Pushing away with the right hand, stretching over with your left arm. So a nice lateral side stretch here, shining those ribs to the sky. Sitting super tall on your return in. Exhale, press it away. Inhale to return. Exhale, press it away. Inhale, growing taller. When you're ready, make a rotation there if that feels good for you today. Open wide through the palms and just stretch yourself out, adding extension as an optional variation. If you're adding extension, lift your chest up, drop your shoulders, slightly drag your body back in again. Anywhere from three to five. your right hand to center and then come all the way up into seated. Carefully turn yourself around. Again, find the same position that worked well for your legs in the opposite side. Push with your left hand, reach up and over with your right. Get this nice sense of stretch along the entire right side here. Again, reaching those fingertips to provide energy running out through the arm. And these should feel great. Once you're ready, you're gonna reach over, open the distance between your arms, push yourself out. Lifting the chest when you're ready and pushing yourself away. Again, these are optional extensions. You don't have to take them. If you prefer just the lateral side bends, then that's perfectly fine. Again, encouraging your chest to lift up a little higher on your return in. 
adjust your left hand through center and come all the way back up to the top here. Beautiful job, guys. Hope you've enjoyed the workout and we'll see you next time.